Dobre rano. Uh, my speech will be uh, about uh, our priorities, digital priorities during uh, your EU presidency, but I would like to begin with uh, supporting your, your uh, Deputy Prime Minister Peter Pellegrini. According to my understanding, for excellent e-government system, this digital identity, sig single digital identity guaranteed by the government is crucial. And there is another principle which is also crucial. This is a so-called once only principle. So, yeah, I, I was Prime Minister of Estonia during quite many years. But uh, in Finland, they introduced uh, their uh, smart ID cards even a year earlier than we did it in Estonia. But in Finland, it was voluntary based and only 30,000 Finns, so they took those uh, smart ID cards. In Estonia, it was mandatory. You can have your travel passport or not, but you have to have your smart ID cards. And of course, everybody has this smart ID card. But it took for Estonians even six years to give their first one million digital signatures. This smart ID card, of course, was useful for our people to get parcel from postal office, for example, to show your ID or, or to cross even borders, to go to Finland to show your ID or, or to open envelope. It was also uh, quite good uh, to use a smart ID card, but it wasn't so smart. So, but in the year 2007, we implemented so-called once-only principle on the level of the government. <coughs> State has a right to ask for information only once. Second time is prohibited. State has to remember and with my permission to use this information once again. And we got real boost on usage of digital signatures. And uh, also we have in Estonia so-called uh, um, X-Road system, a layer which allows uh, to cross use information through relatively small databases. So all the registers, they have to talk with each other. Now, Estonians, so they are signing digitally uh, more than 1.3 million times per week. And I can say, it's so common to use those digital signatures in Estonia because it's uh, those solutions, uh, that they are user-centric solutions and, uh, and it's a question about efficiency. We figured out that just because of uh, a digital signature, we were able to save one working week per year, which is equal to 2% of GDP, which is equal to our defense expenditures. We can say in Estonia, defense expenditures, uh, they, they, they are coming from digital identities. So it, it works. About uh, one's only principle, one example is e-tax boards. So uh, those tax declarations are there in the, in the internet. Uh, uh, they are pre-filled, of course. State knows how much they paid for ministers, for example. So why ministers, uh, they have to submit to this information once again? Or if private companies, they are paying uh, salaries to their uh, workers. So they have to pay taxes and the tax department has to know how much they paid for some pe uh, uh, people uh, th those taxes. So it takes minutes or three minutes for somebody to check figures and then you have to sign digitally of course and, and then within the next five days you will get money back uh, from tax de department. So maybe Estonia is uh, the only country in the world uh, where even 14,000 people uh, they are waiting at midnight when it will be possible to, to, to declare taxes. So when they will start with those procedures, normal people, they would like to postpone this process. But uh, 
if it's uh, really user-centric and comfortable, then uh, people, they prefer to act as, as honest taxpayers. So, it works. And I would like to say that um, uh, thanks to uh, single digital identity guaranteed by the government, those uh, uh, public services, digital public services, they are also cheaper. You don't have to create all these new identities to your customers. It doesn't matter. Are we talking about uh, uh, public services or, or private services? If there is one strong digital identity guaranteed by the government, then why? Those service providers, uh, they have to create all these uh, new uh, identities to their customers. So in Estonia, uh, they are paying uh, approximately 50 billion euros for all uh, digital public services. Finland is a little bit bigger country, but uh, in Finland they are paying 2 billion euros per year. Finland is bigger than Estonia, but not 40 times bigger. In the United Kingdom, they are paying even 20 billion euros per year for all those uh, uh, governmental digital services. And as we all know, in digital world, everything has to be scalable. If number of uh, customers will be bigger, then uh, you know, costs per uh, customers, they have to be cheaper. But in fact, thanks to single digital identity, we can see how in one country people, they are getting those digital services practically free of charge, and in other countries, uh, they have to pay quite high price for that. So, it takes time in Estonia. It, uh, it took even six years uh, to get to this hockey stick effect, but uh, one day it will happen. So I would like to say, go ahead. This is a right, uh, a right way to, to go. But now about uh, our digital uh, priorities. Ladies and gentlemen, this year is about getting things done uh, for Europe to turn digital. Building a digital a single market is a top priority for this uh, European Commission. Just over one year ago, uh, we presented a strategy designed to achieve uh, this vision. Several proposals are now on the negotiating table. They all need to advance. They are all vital building blocks for uh, the other uh, digital single market uh, initiatives uh, in the pipeline. We need to act quickly. Technology and the digital economy will not wait. The tangible advantages of going digital can be uh, felt. Uh, just uh, look at uh, uh, roaming surcharges. The plan is uh, for these uh, to end uh, for good in mid-June 2017. However, their ultimate uh, uh, removal first requires political progress uh, on the wholesale roaming regulation. We rely on the Slovak EU presidency to make this happen by the end of this year and uh, we'll do all uh, what we can to help. The digital single market uh, will remove the barriers uh, that prevent Europeans from meeting uh, the challenges uh, of uh, the growing digital economy and from making the most of its opportunities. It will give people more access to online goods and services. It will allow businesses and governments to make better use of uh, digital tools like public e-services. All remaining uh, digital single market uh, proposals should be finalized by the end of this year. For those we have already presented, uh, the momentum of EU decision making has to be maintained so that we see uh, the designed result of uh, the desired result of a truly digital Europe. With uh, Slovakia's help and support, uh, I am confident we can achieve this together. It will be difficult, in fact, an uphill struggle, but it is definitely necessary. 
The Commission is uh, ready to assist, however, and as much as it can uh, throughout uh, this uh, six-month period. Let me briefly outline what has happened over uh, the last uh, few months, uh, what is coming up and uh, what we will need uh, to do together uh, during the Slovak presidency. On cross-border portability, we want to make it uh, easy for subscribers to use their online services to watch films, listen to music, uh, read e-books uh, when uh, they are away from home in the EU. Just two weeks ago, uh, the Council agreed uh, a general approach on uh, this draft regulation. It means that negotiations can soon start uh, with the European Parliament. This is great and rapid progress. It shows what can be achieved in a short period. We should now move uh, to a full practical agreement and adoption during uh, your presidency. Secure and cross-border portability of online content is a key stage uh, in modernizing EU copyright rules where uh, we will make further proposals after the summer. Slovakia's support will be invaluable during uh, this time. We also proposed new conditions for using uh, the 700 megahertz band uh, for wireless broadband, the first step towards uh, further and better coordination of uh, spectrum. This is a file uh, that we now that uh, we now need to finalize uh, since Spectrum will, will be a major element uh, in the telecoms review that we will also propose after the summer. More recently, the Commission presented two major packages of uh, digital single market proposals uh, where political and technical negotiations are now beginning. Firstly, in April, we published a blueprint for turning EU industry digital and attracting more investment into the sector. Every industry in Europe, whichever sector, whatever size, wherever the location, should be able to get uh, the full benefit from uh, digital innovation. It addresses new growth areas such as uh, the data economy, the Internet of Things uh, and cloud computing. It also focuses on promoting common standards and uh, e-government services, where I know Slovakia is keen to improve its performance. I know that Slovakia has recently taken uh, steps towards a further dig digitization of its uh, public administration. These, this should soon show an impact uh, which is good news. I also welcome Slovakia's intention to include a political endorsement uh, of uh, the new e government uh, action plan in Council conclusions. This would give political commitment and momentum to putting uh, the plan into action and designing uh, Europe's public uh, services. Then, two weeks ago, our focus turned to e-commerce how best to develop uh, its uh, untapped potential and to expand, particularly across EU country borders. We want to open up uh, uh, the e-commerce market. Uh, it becomes truly <coughs> pan-European, fair conditions for consumers and business uh, across uh, the EU's it internal borders. I want to see an end to the practice of uh, unjustified uh, geo-blocking. No discrimination against online buyers based on their location or nationality. This will also be good for businesses who can then sell to customers coming from different corners of Europe. The geo-blocking proposal is a top priority where work should start straight away. I would like to see a general approach reached uh, by the end of December and uh, I'm relying uh, on the Slovak presidency to make it happen. Ladies and gentlemen, 
There is plenty more that I could add to this list. As I said, uh, this is a year of getting things done. This will continue as uh, the digital button of uh, the EU presidency passes to Slovakia on the 1st of July in just three weeks' time. The telecoms review and copyright proposals, both uh, scheduled for September, will be the largest single pieces of work during the presidency. While Slovakia uh, should set its own pace uh, for coordinating negotiations, uh, this should also be ambitious. The digital single market is uh, complex and will not be simple to achieve. There will be opposition, there will be controversy, there may be frustration along the way. However, the digital future is already knocking on our door. Europe has to be part of the future, preferably leading the way. The proposals and negotiations uh, that we can expect uh, uh, for the second half of 2016 are equally important pieces in the digital single market project. They link together and are vital to its overall success. I look forward to working with the incoming Slovak presidency so that Europe's people and businesses can get to the best from the digital opportunities of today as well as tomorrow. Thank you very much and I'm ready to take your question. But uh, I, I saw already uh, our moderator is afraid time is over, no questions. So, but I'm ready. Thank you.